to Jubilee Road for another model locomotive review. Now, today we are looking at the all new Bachmann Class 66 in GBRF livery. Now, this is quite a special loco as it's the last 66 to be made. It is Evening Star. Now, guys, I've been looking forward to this ever since they announced the model, and I know a lot of people have as well. So today we're going to have a thorough look at the model and then give it a run around the layout to see how it performs. Just before we get into today's video, this will be the last review in this style. I will be changing the format for the next one. We'll be going to reviewing models on a white background so we can see the um, details more clearly and in a lot more light. So that will be coming on the next review soon here on the layout. So here's the model itself then, we'll have a look at the end of the box. And there we go, it is class 66, 67, 7, 7, 9, Evening Star, operated by GBRF. So this is Bachmann's usual packaging that we all know, usual stuff. Really looking forward to this one actually guys, and it's in the block of ice like we like to say. Then we just best to just carefully just should come out fairly easily yeah we do have um, a little bit of paperwork with the model as usual got the warranty on the first page there and we got quite a bit of paperwork with this one that's always nice and then also other than the warranty we've got the exploded diagram which you can see there and gives you all the part numbers just in case uh, you break anything and on the back then we have body removal and we also have fitted um, fitting detailed parts which uh, is always good to keep those bits of paper guys especially when you come to uh, fitting the detailed parts so you know where they go so then we just take this outer plastic sleeve off and then we do have the detailing pack which is quite extensive as you can see there plenty of hoses we've got the valances we've got extra couplings we've got the screwling coupling as well to fit in yeah really nice detailing pack also we have oh sellotape there we have etched name plates and numbers now does that mean the logo doesn't have any on it or they just printed ones i'm sure we'll find out and by the way guys, if you can hear noise in the background, there is um, a building site opposite my house and they're making a heck of a racket, which is a big pain. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Oh, this thing looks so good. So here's the model itself. Wow, that weighs a lot. God, I don't remember the 66's weighing that much. Really, really nice model. So uh, let's get it on the track. So. Here is the front of the model and straight away it really really does look nice. So then let's have a look. Do we have sprung buffers to start off with? Yes we do. I guess we would. Um, we've got the number uh, just over the other side. Uh, we got the nice separately fitted handrail which really stands out in the uh, white colour. We got operational uh, headlights which are directional. Um, we do have the realistic hook in the middle. I believe, yes, the chain link coupling is already fitted. And we got some of the location holes there to put the NEM coupling in. So the front of the model looking really nice. I Yes, we do have a driver in the front there. Uh, the glazing is done actually really well. And also you do have separately fitted windscreen wipers and you have a separately fitted lamp hook on one side so if you want to run it on a rail tour you can put the headboard on it so now we'll have a look at, at the side of the model uh, there we go then we got the GB rail freight which is written just under the cab windows there again the glazing is done really nice um, now a really nice feature just here Got the British Rail logo sign. Now it was so good of GBRF in real life to do this. You've also got an older style maker's plate. We can just see there with my finger is in the black. Uh, they've really gone for it on this livery and it is really nice. 
you have then the more 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 modern sorry warning stickers just there we've got the separately fretted white hand rails which again really really stick out you've got the separately applied uh, steps up to the cab looking really nice and you do have very nice bogey and under frame detail so if we go along yes now my suspicions were right there is no nameplates on this model at all which is a little disappointing I really wish they had fitted them in the factory I don't know why they didn't it's just more pain for us modelers if you don't like doing that sort of thing so if we carry on then moving the model this way slowly we still got really nice under frame details with the fuel tank and I believe that's the batteries uh, that the GBRF is done really really well and it really stands out um, the white with this dark green background move the model a bit for further we got the uh, grill just here looking really nice yeah it's a real grill as well and good under frame detail at this end as well we got the separately fitted steps again we've got the uh, handrails and then we go to the other end and you've got the number printed on the side which is 66779 and you probably can't pick it out but just above the number it says 9F now if you don't know why that's there it's because the original Evening Star was a steam loco the last British steam loco built by British Rail was a 9F called Evening Star and this is why this is called Evening Star because it was the last 66 ever made really nice to do that so the lining then as you can just see it there is exactly how it would have been on the steam loco just around the, the cab just here it looks really nice and it does run right down the side of the uh, bodywork as well now at this end we're not going to look at it because it's exactly the same the only difference is a small NEM coupling has already been fitted at this end so here we go here's the roof of the model and there's the grill looking really really nice I believe that's where the speaker would sit just underneath here is it looks that way you can see the holes underneath as well if that's what you want to do fit it with sound I might I don't know but that's a really nice etched grill there here's the access panels just there to access the engine doing maintenance in real life that is we got the exhaust system it's actually really really nicely detailed here there's the uh, exhaust pipe itself that's looking really really nice and then we go to the end you got a little bit more detail on the model there as well so there we go then that was a quick look at the detail of the model just a bit of technical information we do have uh, one centrally mounted motor which drives all wheels and it does pick up on all wheels as well so we shouldn't have any running quali bad qualities with it um, it also needs a 21 pin uh, decoder fitted if that's what you want to do and there is also a switch underneath the model situated by the fuel tanks which turns the tail lights on or off so if you're running it with a train you would turn the tail lights off because that's how they run in real life so the running quality then this is straight out the box I have not run the model at all um, so we're going to go towards the footbridge as we always do and see how the uh, model performs. So uh, here we go. Oh, straight there. Pretty much no hesitation from the model. Yeah, very quiet, nice smooth running. And I am just using a, a cheapy Backman controller, so it's doing really well for that, isn't it? It can run pretty slow as well, you can see there is... Yeah, really impressed with that. So, there was the uh, running straight out of the box. Um, no problems to report at all with the model quiet runs well lighting looking quite nice there as well so let's send it round the layout and see how it copes uh, with the curves and point work
And guys, once again, if you can hear the noise in the background from the builders, sorry about that, guys. So there we go guys, um, there was a three shots of it running around the layout and no running problems to report whatsoever, there's no hesitation from the model, uh, it performs really really well, quiet motor, so yeah, really impressed. Now those of you who already have this model, I don't know if you noticed, the LED lighting on the front of this model is seems to be a lot better than the previous 66s from Backman. So have a look at your models, and I really think they are. They look much more crisp um, and a slightly different colour than the uh, older 66s from back when it makes it look much nicer. And I did forget to mention, it does have a cab light both ends, um, which you can't, can't turn off um, on DC mode, but you can on digital if you fit a uh, decoder. So yes, guys, I'm really impressed with Backman's latest Class 66. It's a lovely livery. Um, and now I have to go and fit all the detail parts to make it look even nicer. And I think I'm going to have to go and get Evening Star, the original one, the Steam Loco, to go with this. I think on a rail tour around the layout that look really quite special. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, the reviews will slightly change after this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. And let me know your thoughts on the model. Um, leave a comment, see what you think like the video and please don't forget to subscribe for loads more videos so that's it from me at jubilee road i'll be back very soon with some more videos bye everyone